Welcome! In front of me I have Apple Watch Series 8 and I'm gonna show you how to measure the blood oxygen levels on this watch. Before we start, if you want to get the most accurate results of your measurements, make sure to put your watch on your wrist, secure it tightly so it doesn't move around, and while you're measuring your blood oxygen levels, try not to move too much. I'm just gonna put my finger on the sensor at the back of the watch, but because of that, my results might be not too accurate. Now, let's continue with the uh, measurements. So first thing we need to do is to wake up the screen on our watch, and you can do it by pressing any of the buttons, or by tapping on the screen. Once you wake up the screen, press the crown button to open the menu. Now, scroll through the menu by swiping on the screen, find the uh, blood oxygen level or SpO2 icon, looks like this, blood oxygen icon, and then tap on it to open the widget or app. Now, here we have some tips how to use this F function. So tap next, basically, like I said before, wear your watch on the wrist and not like as you can see you need to move it a little a little like two centimeters i believe away from your wrist completely so it doesn't sit like on the wrist directly you need to move it a little bit to the side uh, and then you can you also need to keep your watch facing upwards and not moving basically while you're uh, measuring the that oxygen once you're done with the uh, tutorial you should see this um, page or this screen and here we can tap on the start button to start the measurement so I'm gonna press place my finger on the sensor and then tap on the start button oh as you can see with the finger it might be tough to measure it because uh, It has problems with detecting it with the finger, so sometimes you have to try a couple of times. Again. And here we have it. Okay, this time it, it did measure the blood oxygen levels. So basically that's how it works. But remember, I recommend to wear the watch on the wrist because with the finger thing, it's quite wonky. And also, once you're done, you can tap on the done button. And if you want to measure it again, you can tap on start. And if you want to exit this uh, app, you can press the crown button to go back to watch face. And that's how you measure the blood oxygen levels on this watch. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.